We're with John Walk of the Natural Resources Defense Council. You're the director of the Clean Air Program there. The Clean Air Act is now more than four decades old. Big picture question, has it worked? Yes, air quality in the United States has improved substantially, as have public health um, and other metrics of cleaner air for ecosystems and the, national, uh, the natural environment. And I would say that the Clean Air Act has been probably our most successful environmental statute in the United States. Okay. And why, I mean, why is that? What, what, are, the, what are the features of the way they structure that act that has helped it be beneficial? Several features. The most important feature of the Clean Air Act is a foundation rooted in providing all Americans safe, healthy air based on health standards that are founded exclusively on medical science. There is not supposed to be economics or politics um, weakening or lessening the safety of air quality standards under the Clean Air Act. So that ensures that there is a rigorous science-based promise of healthy air to Americans. The second feature is a tapestry of cleanup measures and performance standards by the federal government and the state government and the private sector that look for cost-effective ways of reducing air pollution across all aspects of the economy, from vehicles to power plants and refineries and incinerators. Um, there is a wide array of steps taken by the state and federal government to ensure that harmful air pollution in all its forms from all sectors of the economy are reduced sufficiently and cost effectively, again, to guarantee American safe air based upon medical science. Okay, and that standard of, of, of clean air based on health and scientific standards has been you know, the most central part of the framework of that. That's coming under uh, assault in Congress right now. There, there's bills to, re, to rescind that, to add in economic factors, or to pull that back? That is correct. There are Republican bills in the U.S. Senate and the U.S. House of Representatives that would overturn the Clean Air Act's 47-year-old foundation guaranteeing safe air to Americans based upon medical science. Those bills in Congress would overturn a unanimous Supreme Court decision by the late Justice Antonin Scalia that recognized that Americans must be guaranteed safe air based exclusively on medical science and not based upon politics or profits. Okay. And outside of Congress, what are the Clean Air Act related regulations that the Trump administration has or is seeking to roll back? The Trump administration under EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt has targeted for rollback already the health standards that Americans enjoy to make sure they don't breathe unsafe levels of smog pollution. Administrator Pruitt at the Trump EPA has announced he is delaying by one year the date by which all Americans must be guaranteed safe air free from unhealthy levels of smog pollution. And he is taking steps in the federal courts to back away and retreat from EPA's responsibility to defend those health standards for smog pollution against lawsuits that have been filed by the oil industry and other polluters.